The next morning she woke with a start. Her dreams had been filled with gold stars and gold coins and teardrops. Ugh! She pushed back the covers, careful not to disturb Silva, and hopped into the shower. Fifteen minutes later, her mind was cleared and the bad dreams relegated to the back of her head. She entered her living area where Jack waited at her desk with her laptop open. Morning, she said. Were you working all night? Time doesn't matter to me. He gestured for her to join him. Tell me about the teardrops. Uh, Liam, the man from last night, had two? He was very uh, hard. I don't know how else to explain it. She stood over Jack's shoulder to read the articles he'd compiled, complete with pictures of tough men and women in orange jumpsuits with crude tattoos. It's a symbol of going to prison, Jack said. She shuddered as she recalled Liam's intense perusal of her, the cigarette behind his ear. Shaggy hair, she needs deference to the man. What? It's true. Jack looked at her over his shoulder and raised two fingers. Two tattoos could mean that he killed someone. She cupped her elbows and brought her arms to her waist. Charlene wondered if she should warn Sinead he'd called the pretty girl love. Her stomach clenched. He'd called her love, too. He had one on each side of his face. Jack nodded. The meaning can vary according to region, but that's the main gist. This Liam's been in jail and possibly killed someone. Could he have killed Connor? Was there a connection, somehow? He'd had a cigarette on him, though she hadn't smelled it last night. The bars in Salem were no smoking. Liam was certainly stocky, about her height. She would give Mark an extra thank you this morning when she saw him for coming to her rescue. I don't think you should hang out at that bar anymore, Jack said, watching her closely. Even to talk with Sinead about the case, Liam is a bad dude. I won't. I prefer brews and broomsticks anyway, with Kevin. The blonde bar manager also ran paranormal tours of Salem and had become a friend. Jack no longer grew jealous of Kevin, as Kevin had a great girlfriend, Amy. Good. I don't worry about you when you go there. I wish I... He let the sentence trail off. They both wished he could leave the house, but he was a ghost and couldn't go beyond the property line. She smiled softly at him. I need coffee, Jack, to go with my early morning teardrop news. I guess Connor's killer hasn't been found yet.